What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Crew 2, and in this video I'm going to take a look at the Audi RS5 Coupe USST Official Edition. I would say a lot of people are going to like this car just upon first glance. That livery is honestly looking pretty awesome on there, but if you guys do want to get this car unlocked though, all you will have to do is hit level 37 in the motor pass, which luckily is going to be insanely easy with how these challenges are set up now. But nonetheless though, the Audi is definitely going to be a pretty interesting vehicle. I was kind of mixed on this car when I first saw it because I really haven't used the other RS5 all that much. So I was thinking this car wasn't going to be all that great. But to be honest guys, I'm actually really surprised with this Audi so far. This thing is actually really fun to use. It also looks pretty dang awesome as well. I really like that livery on this vehicle. Plus I like the carbon fiber splitter and or the skirt on the side. I also really do think those rims look really cool as well my goodness i wish we can paint the rims on this game hopefully in motorfest we will be able to do that but the rims on this car really do look insanely nice on here i mean you can also see the blue bolts being colored and or the blue line going around as well so i really do think a lot of people are going to like this car and one thing i also found interesting guys so of course you can't actually customize this mainly because it is already going to be customized. But one thing I found pretty interesting is the regular RS5 doesn't even have this body kit available for it. So I would recommend going after that car if you guys do want it. As you guys will see right here on the front fender, this is the only one it has, which is not going to match the one on the other one at all. So I did actually find this to be pretty dang awesome. It's going to make the RS5 and the motor pass that much more unique, mainly because you can't even get this body kit on the regular RS5. So I really do think this car is actually going to be pretty dang unique. And not only that guys, it's also going to have some pretty impressive performance. So now taking an outside look of the RS5 here, you guys can actually see how wide this car actually is. I really do think the body kit that was put on this car really does look awesome. I also really like the way the rims look in the sunlight as well. It almost turns everything like a whitish color when looking at it, so they really did do a pretty amazing job with this car, and it's also going to sound pretty awesome. And then moving over to the interior of this RS5 here, I actually thought this car wasn't going to be any different inside, but it does turn out guys, you actually have the blue stitching on the car as well, which honestly looks really dang good in this vehicle. Plus you're going to have that really nice carbon fiber as well. So I really do think they actually did a really good job with this vehicle. And I currently have a Bugatti trying to hang out with me at the moment. But I'm honestly pretty impressed guys that they did paint the interior because sometimes the cars, I noticed the interior and some of them really don't look all that great. So I'm definitely pretty dang happy that they actually made this one pretty nice looking and also kind of unique. So now moving over to a top speed test with the RS5 here guys. So one thing I noticed right off the bat with this vehicle is this thing is indeed going to be an 8 speed as well. So do keep that in mind if you haven't really been driving manual. Which I honestly can't blame you if you guys haven't been because some of the cars are honestly pretty wonky. But one thing I really do like about this Audi is it feels just like the Carrera 4S. I'll get into more of that here in a quick second, but I really do think this car is honestly pretty awesome. And the top speed, though, is going to be a tad lower than some of the other vehicles, but not honestly terrible. It's going to be around 251 miles per hour to 252. Obviously, going down a hill, you can push the car to like 254, so the Audi's still going to be insanely fast, but it's not going to be like the fastest street car against something like the Countach and or the Superleggera. So upon first impressions of the USST official edition, guys, I have to admit one thing. I was honestly expecting this car to be kind of bad, so I really wasn't going into this thing like with super high hopes. And it turns out I'm going to be completely wrong on that. Not only does this car look really good with that wide body kit, it's also going to perform pretty dang nicely as well. So 
I normally do run manual like 99% of the time on the Crew 2, so I like messing around with some of these cars, even though some of the cars on the Crew 2 are probably going to be on the wonky side, at least when it comes to shifting. I actually find the USST to be pretty dang good. It's also going to be an 8-speed that I found to be very similar to one of my favorite street cars, the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, which is also going to be kind of considered underrated. At least what I have seen, that car is honestly pretty incredible. And I really do think the RS5 here is also going to be on the underrated side. I'm honestly really impressed with the way this car handles, guys. Like, some of the street cars really don't feel that good. I also do remember the old RS5 not feeling all that great either. Which is also going to be part of the reason why I never actually see anybody use the regular RS5. I really cannot remember the last time I actually saw somebody run that car. But I really do think the USST, guys, is going to be a lot better than that one. I would definitely say this car is going to deserve a look because this handling seriously needs to be examined a little bit, guys. Like, it's going to be that good. I actually would say this car is probably going to completely decimate some of the other cars on tracks. And or like these smaller events in the game, like something like the flashback japan race or something like that where the handling is going to be insanely important or maybe even something like the pikes peak race as well like i really do think the rs5 is going to do great now sure it's not going to have like the highest top speed in the street class but in reality it's only going to really be like maybe 7 to 10 miles an hour slower and i really do think the stability is going to make up for that in corners because you can probably find yourself being faster in certain areas with the rs5 compared to like the lamborghini Gallardo and or the lovely Countach as well so I really do think this car is actually going to start popping up and it's going to be one of those motor pass vehicles you'll definitely want to go after similar to something like the Tempesta guys I've honestly been really impressed with some of the vehicles in these motor passes they're actually going to be a lot better than some of the other cars and one of my favorite things about the USST is going to be the way this car is actually unique compared to like the RS5 because let's be honest some of the cars tend to have like a couple of different colors on them and then they're going to be like a new addition but the USST is actually going to have a pretty awesome looking body kit that surprisingly fits this car insanely well and basically to a T. I also want to know your thoughts on the Audi RS5 USST official edition in the comments below. I would say guys upon first impressions I'm definitely going to be using this car more in the future. I really do think that handling and stability is going to be something to mess with. And of course the top speed's not going to be 260, but 253 miles an hour I would say is going to be close enough. And I really do think this car is actually going to be pretty dang good overall, and it's definitely going to be worth a look.